One of the most common things that people do nowadays is, regardless of whether or not they get a long productive night of sleep, the first thing they do is pick up their phone and they check their social media. Some people check their emails, but for the most part, they're kind of just opening up Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and they're just scrolling through, looking at the content, looking what people are posting, who's talking to who, what celebrity is doing this, that, or the third. And when you really think about it, is that making you any more productive than you already are? Is that helping you in any constructive way? Let's talk about it. So it would be hard to deny that social media doesn't play a huge factor in our lives nowadays. And there are so many people who try to toe this line and say that, oh, social media isn't real, but <laughs> let's be honest now. People tend to agree with things that resonate with them on social media, um, whether they agree with it or they support it or they feel strongly about the topic. They wouldn't like, retweet, or consume that content as frequently as they do unless they resonated with it in a certain way. And the truth of the matter is, what we consume on social media plays a huge factor in our outlook on life in general. Look, there was a study done recently where the average person spends like four to six hours on their phone every day. And when you really think about it, that's a long time. That could be four to six hours sleeping. That could be four to six hours, uh, you know, working on a hobby that you're interested in. Maybe four to six hours working on a business that you're doing. But many people will just spend four to six hours consuming content on social media. And ultimately, those four to six hours can make or break you. Because picture this, if every single day you're taking in negative information, going back and forth with random people on social media, going back and forth with bot accounts, <laughs> fake accounts, people who aren't even showing their faces, like how is that productive for you as an individual? It's not. The fact of the matter is, this is a saying that I've heard so many times and it goes garbage in, garbage out. What the saying basically means is if you are constantly taking in information that is not productive or positive for you, you are ultimately gonna put out that information or reflect it back out into the world. And that's something that everyone needs to take into account when they're viewing social media. So from my perspective and something that I've tried to do going forward because this is something I've always struggled with as well. I always try to ask myself, is the content that I'm viewing constructive to me? Is this gonna help me in any kind of way? Can I learn from this information? Is this person I'm viewing, are they reflective of a person I should be looking towards for information? All those things play a factor and you should all take it into account. The best thing to do is remove people or accounts or brands that do not align with positivity or things that you wanna put out into the world. And what you should do is consume information, consume content that will ultimately help you in the long run. And that's basically my thoughts on it. So yeah, guys, that's basically all I have for you today. I think my final thought is just that you should definitely curate and be careful of the type of information you're taking in every single day. Because the information that you're taking in can really affect you emotionally and mentally, whether you realize it or not. So yeah, finally, if you really enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that like button and also leave a comment below. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and subscribe for more.